Arlick Brothers is right over there on the other side. Richard Bird is a U.S. Army veteran. He now lives alone in a Stockton hotel. I never expected to be where I'm at today. I worked. I worked every day. He is one of more than 20 veterans who were forced out of their rooms at downtown Stockton's Dignity's Alcove Shelter for Veterans just weeks ago. He says they had all but 24 hours to find a place to go. He and many others were out the door with little to no belongings. Clothing, a couple flags of mine, you know, um, my rockets, <laughs> my little model rockets that I fire off, um, pictures of my daughter. It was there that Bert says he faced cold nights with no working heat, cold water, plumbing issues, cracked and leaking ceilings for years. But stories like his are now sparking action. Congressman Josh Harder is calling for the expansion of housing units at Victory Gardens Veterans Apartments in French Camp. No one who has served our nation and kept our community safe should be sleeping on the streets, should have nowhere safe to go. And yet that's exactly what's happened because of Dignity Alcoves. Roughly 50 affordable units here now house dozens of local vets with the goal of housing up to 100. But that only covers the surface. There's a lot of veterans out here, all over Stockton, all over California. There's a lot of them. Um, and they usually stay to themselves in the encampments and whatnot, but they're there. Congressman Josh Harder says the goal is to get more agencies together to build new buildings here on this land that's just beside the apartments. Harder says ideas for expansion were already proposed, but he is now calling on agencies like the VA and the Army Corps of Engineers to speed up the project. He hopes to see some groundbreaking in the next few months. We need to make sure that that project is moving into overdrive. Uh, it takes years and years of red tape to actually build an affordable housing project anywhere in California, and that pace is unacceptable when we have veterans uh, in dire circumstances. Meanwhile, Richard remains on the waiting list for one of these units. He hopes he and other fellow veterans will not be forgotten. In French Camp, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. Well, the new veterans clinic is also being built next to the Victory Gardens Apartments, and officials say construction for that project could be done as soon as this May.